Shepherd of us all, Savior of us all, Lover of us all. We are on the Lord's side. We will never give up. We And so, Father in heaven, we thank you because you are God and not man. We thank you because this can only be you that we gather today in your presence to know your mind concerning us. Thank you because you are. my area of my that I have sinned against you. Forgive your children that you have by yourself gathered this day. Let them be consumed with your fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, I decree that you increase. I step down that you step up. I step out that you step in and take over the pulpit yourself. And speak to me and to your children. That the end, our lives will not remain the same anymore. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Our Lord is good. All the time. It is where. Please, don't know, uh, stop and sing a little bit, please. Sing for our team. Please. Let me pray this prayer. And say, Father, let me feel your fire in my life. Open your mouth and pray. I take it again. Say, Father, let me feel your fire in my life. Open your mouth and pray in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. that fire, we shall feel it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. To the book of Isaiah 43, verse 7. Isaiah 43, verse 7. 
Isaiah. 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 As you go for that. Isaiah 53, I mean 43, I read 7, verse 7. I read, Even. I read Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, go ahead. I read in Jesus' name. Oh. Chapter 43, verse 7. Yeah. Even everyone that is called by my praise, name. Praise the Lord. Praise. Please. Hallelujah. Can we unmute our mic? If you are called to do something there, you can unmute, please. So that everything we go order. Amen. Okay. Uh, the person read it, read, please. I read Isaiah chapter 43, verse 7. Even everyone that has it is that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him. Yea, I have made him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We say where our beloved sister just read. He said, even everyone that is called, who are those that is called? It's you and I. By my name, who is talking? God. 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 For I have created him. Who is that him? You mm -hmm. and me. For my glory. glory. I have formed him. Who is that him? You and I. Ye, I have what made. I have made him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The topic before me and you this day says. Your God given purpose in life. Your God or God given purpose. Your God given purpose in life. Praise the Lord. I come again. Your God given purpose in life. Hallelujah. Amen. As the twin sister, the one that is on camera, uh, daughter of sister Clara Koji, what did I say is the topic, please? Is that this uh, audio or the uh, I don't know the name. <laughs> yeah, you are the one I'm talking to, sister Koji's daughter. Oh, sorry. No hearing. Sorry, sorry. It's not hearing. We did not hear it because my son was just doing it. Amen. I come again. Your God given purpose in life. Can you repeat it now? Sister, your daughter, ma. Do we? Do you hear me now? You have even departed from the camera. It is well. All right, brother, please. Please, what? Yes, what is the topic? Your God-given purpose in life. Amen. Your God-given purpose in life. And to, and to start with, by the grace of God, as we go further, what is the meaning of purpose? What is the meaning of purpose? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, Brother Samuel, what is the meaning of purpose? When they, because we have to understand the uh, things before we move further. What is the meaning of purpose? Yeah. Um, for purpose means uh, your God giving um, okay. 
Okay, don't worry. Okay. I just it. Amen. Okay, brother, sister, blessing. The, the things you intend to do. Amen. The things that what you are in to do. Praise the Lord. The purpose. And in another case, yeah, this one was here. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know. Yeah, it was here yeah, at first. I'm not going to start clicking it. Amen. Amen. So, by the special grace of God, before I move further, are we hearing? Amen. Yes. In addition to what our sister just said, what is the meaning of purpose? In addition, purpose is the reason of which something is done. Number one, or, or number two, in addition, uh, sister blessings on number one. I come again. Purpose is the reason for which something is done. Purpose is the reason of that thing created or for we something exists. For example, right now, I want to ask Brother James. Brother James, if you go to the kitchen right now and put uh, rice on, the, on fire, for what reason? Rajesh, are you hearing me? Uh, yes, sir. Um, if you put on the fire, you'll probably be hungry. Let me go this way, if you don't understand. Do you understand the question? Okay. If you go to supermarket now to buy bread, why are you buying that bread? What is the reason? I don't know. You went to the supermarket to buy bread. You don't know the reason why you are buying it. Okay, brother. To eat it. To do what? To eat it. To eat it. Amen. Yeah, you are right. You are right. But I will come there. Okay, brother Divine. Because you're hungry. Amen. Because of what? Hunger. You are hungry. Yes, it's true that you will eat it, but there is a reason why you are eating it. It's not because your stomach is filled up. It's not because uh, you are now vomiting out uh, because the food is not much. No, it is because of what? You are hungry. And the Bible told us in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26, I mean 27. I think Jesus name God. If you are there, you wait for the others. Wait for others. Praise the Lord. Are we all there? Genesis chapter yes. 1. Yes, sir. Chapter 27. I mean, verse 27. Okay. Uh, Brother Divine. I mean, in Jesus' name. Amen. Genesis 1, verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he, him, male and female, created he them. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want, uh, God bless you, uh, son of the Most High God, in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. <coughs> brother, okay. Okay, brother, that, uh, Imalwe, please read Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 for us. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. And God said, Let us make man in our own image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle of all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Amen. 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 Amen.
Praise the Lord. We see in that verse 26, the Bible told us that God created what you and I, man and woman, for what? In, I mean, in what? In his own image, one, and in his what? Likeness. For example, I mean, the reason if you if, if you build a house, the reason why you create dirt on it is because you want to have a place whereby you can be entering the house. That is the purpose. Now, God created me and you for a purpose. What is at what are the purpose? Why is God? Why did God decide to create you and I? That is what we will know as time goes on in the message. We will, we will know today, by the grace of God, if we are created to come to live with the world. We will come to know if we are here in this world to eat and eat and eat and sleep. We will come to understand today, by the grace of God, the reason why we are created. Like where we read, it's told us that God created us in his own image. Now what I want to say now is another topic for another day. God created you and I to represent him. That one does have that in mind. God created you and I for what? To represent him in this world. That is the number one purpose. But if God give us the grace, we talk about that next time. The more the number one purpose, for example, Brother Joseph built a house in Ireland. And now he traveled and go to America. If he leave that house, maybe he wants to spend 20 years, 40 years in America and leave that house like that. That has before you come back will be rusty. Therefore, if it's a, um, in another hands, if it's a place whereby uh, it is full of armed robbers, before you come, they will they will destroy the doors and pack everything that is there. So therefore, what uh, in this in this instance, what the uh, Brad Joseph need to do as he's going, he need to do what to put a, a security that will be guarding the house for him. Or you, uh, somebody have a farm. He will hire somebody, maybe he's a busy person, he will hire somebody. Maybe somebody that is many, like many of our mothers or many parents that are working and they have children. Maybe the children is very uh, little and they go to work 6 a.m. in the morning and their children will go to school. At the time, they will take somebody that will be taking care of the children for them. When they go to work, the person will help them to take care of the children and do what? Until he come. So that is why that we know heaven is God's throne and this earth, this earth is his full stone. So, there is a purpose why God allow you and I to come to this world. That is why children of God, listen to this. You and I have nothing to do with this world. What do I mean? You and I have no reason to associate with the things that pertain to this world. But that is not the purpose. God created you. As we are going further, we will know many of the purpose why God created me and you. The Bible told me and you in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 5. Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 5. Sister, hold on. Amen. Uh, is it, yes, sister, blessing, uh, 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 sweetly. The daughter. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. God bless you. Are you hearing me? Yeah. It's uh, 
Esther rejects daughter. Unmute your mic and read. The okay, reminder sir. of this wife. What did you say? Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. Read it, read for us, please. Before I formed thee in the belly, I know thee. And before thou came praise, praise the Lord. You will start, you will read again, but I want to I want us to be doing this. Children, listen by the grace of God. When you are called to read the Bible, please do something like this. First of all, tell us, praise the Lord. And you can have to eat, I read in Jesus' name. Okay? Do we hear me? Okay. And when you are called to read the Bible, say, praise the Lord, I read in Jesus' name. Go ahead. Praise the Lord, I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Before I formed thee in the, in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee. The uh, pro, pro, prophet. prophet. Prophet unto the na nations. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Before I found thee, even before you came out of your mother's room, I would not, uh, Sister Blessing, Amen. 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 So, the Bible told us now something very important. Before I formed thee, even before God started creating you, in, 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 the, in the belly, I knew thee. Before thou came forth from your mother's womb, before you, are, you and I arrived this world, the Lord is saying, I already know and I have already sanctified you. I have already anointed you to be my work, what? My workmanship. I, the reason of me bringing you to this world is because I want you to go and walk in my fire. Listen to this. You cannot employ somebody I want to ask the question this way. Brother Israel. Yes, sir. What is the purpose? Hmm? Uh, you, uh, what is the purpose? Your, what do you think is the purpose that allow your mother or that makes your mother to enroll you or to register you into your school? What I think... What I think the purpose is that is that my mother wants my mother would want me to learn and to to make me smarter in the knowledge of what's going around in the world. Amen. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, Brian Joseph, please help to control the uh, mic, please. He said the purpose why have his mother register him in school is for him to learn and to know about the things that are happening in the world. Because if not, he will be an ignorant to everything around him. When others mm -hmm. are able to read ABC, he will not be able. He just said it, man, that is purpose. But in the sight of God, the Lord, the reason why he said, I anointed you to be a prophet. What does that mean? A prophet to a nation. Meaning everybody on earth, see, uh, children, listen to this. You are being anointed before you came out of your mother's room. You are being ordained for the work of God. 
you are being ordained for one particular reason. The particular reason is to come to do this, the work of God on earth. What are God giving purpose in your life? Why did God create you? Why am I created? We want to see some of this step now. They met the reason, the different purpose why God created us. Remember, the first, I said something before that we are created to represent what God. Where we need to represent God. As far as you are in this world, you are a you are God representative. That is why many people go to hell because they fail to represent God. Many people came to this world to represent their own self and the devil. That is why they, they die and go to hell. That is to tell you and I, anyone who fail to represent God as he is living in this world, have no place in the kingdom of God. That will not be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I said that will not be your purpose. Be, be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So we want to see some of the reason of the course of time. We want to quickly see how God wants a little. We want to quickly see some of the reason some of the purpose and how we should how to find out the purpose of god because many people are living they don't even know why they are living many people are in the world they don't know the purpose of their living so now number one some before number in this session we are seeing we want to look at what the purpose why god created you or some step to find your god given purpose some step to find your god given purpose i come again your some step I want to look at to, some steps to find your God giving purpose in life. Number one, you for you to know the purpose of God in your life, for you to know the reason why you are created. For you to know that God wants you to be an apostle or evangelist or a pastor or a priest in his vineyard or an usher in his vineyard. Number one, you must first of all turn to the Bible. Some step to know what? To find your God-given purpose. How to find your purpose. How to know where, I mean, what you are living for. How to find out why did God create me? How to find out what is the purpose of God concerning me? Why did God, what did God want me to do here? I said, number one, you and I must turn to the Bible. Number one, you and I must turn to the Bible. Brother, uh, okay, brother, brother, salvation, what is number one? Brother Vision, what is number one? Okay. 
I'm not hearing you, I'm muted. It didn't hear you, sir. Okay, I said, number one, to find out the purpose of God in your life is you must turn to the Bible. You must turn to the Bible. Before I explain, Brother Savage, do you hear me now? What is number one for salvation? Number one is studying the Bible. Bible. We are Papa. You must study the Bible, yeah. We are Papa. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. You see, you see what is there? It's, a, it's, a, it's the same somehow. Studying the Bible, meaning because you cannot, the, the Lord can't say, turn to the Bible. Without what? Studying. Not studying, studying it. it. So you must turn to the Bible. Do you know why? If when you are going to a place you don't know, you set what? A yes. compass. And that compass will take you to where you are going. And when you get to that place at uh, where you are going, you will hear the let's resume. You will hear the, uh, the 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 something we say you have arrived. Uh, the place is on the left or on the right. The reason why God is saying, turn to my word. The reason why God wants you to turn to his word. The reason why you and I must turn to the Bible, because every purpose is there. The reason why God created you, the reason of God giving birth to you is in his world. Because Bible is a compass, all-round compass. It's all-round compass to life. You want to go to heaven? As you and I is already the world. If you must return back to God, you must Talk to the Bible. Because the Bible is only the one that is capable to return you back to God when you leave this world. So, the Bible told us in the book of Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. Matthew 4, verse 4. I have to be uh, very fast because of time. Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. Uh, brother, yeah, sister Amaka. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. But he answered and said, "It." But he answered and said, "It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God." Amen. Amen. I shall not live by bread alone. Why did God say so? If, if you live by bread alone, there is no heaven for you. Anyone living by bread alone, we see it in the, in the Bible, in the book of Luke, a man, a rich man, was living by bread alone. And he said, hey, I have enough now. I will tell my soul, my soul rest. He, he do not turn to the Bible. And at the end, the Bible says he died. And the Lord, before even that, the Lord said, you are fool for living by bread alone. I, I had it now. Today, my, your soul will go out of you. So you don't know the purpose that I created you. So therefore, get out of this place. And the man died and ended up here. He was living by bread alone. 
in them. That, that is why the Lord is saying, man should not live by bread alone. Because anyone that lives by bread alone, children, there is no way for him in heaven. The Bible also told us in the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 15. 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse uh, 15. Brother Samuel, the, is this Samuel now the senior to that one that is wearing glass? Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, sister, he did your, your song. Yeah, the, I don't know the one that is similar to this. No, he can read. Uh, okay. Why, why do you want him to read, sir? Second Samuel, Samuel chapter 2, verse 15. Second Samuel chapter 2, verse 15. Yes, sir. Yeah, that one. Study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Amen. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. He says, study to show thyself approved unto God. Study to tell God, yes, God, I know this is the purpose you created me. I know the reason why you sent me to this world is to know you. Is to know what you want me to do here on earth. It's for me to know that you created me for me to come to represent you. It says, study to what to show thyself approved unto, not unto man, but unto God. So that when God will not ask a question, you will not want to be ashamed. He said, a workman that needed not to work to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Remember, I said, you are what? A, you are created to represent God. In what way? You see it in that last part. To divide the word of truth. Meaning to, do, uh, to, to preach a word. To divide the his word to people, to them that world that do not know their purpose, because many are in the world they don't know their left and their right, and you are the one God wants to use to show them their left and their right and their right. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. We must learn because who Jesus is and what He says, our purpose in life is, and uh, the way to know. To let ever Christ. The way to let what Christ is saying about me and you is what by turning to the Bible. Praise the Lord. Because the Bible tells you the mind of God concerning you. Praise the Lord. Number two. Before I go further, do we understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Do we understand others? Yes, sir. I hope if I ask you a question, you'll be able to answer correctly. Um, right, James? I hope so. Oh, no, Matt, do you understand? Yes, sir. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. So, number two, which is very, 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 very important. Pray for direction. Pray for what? Direction. Number two. Remember, we are saying what we are looking onto is how to know the purpose of God concerning our lives. Why is why did God create me? And for you and I to know is what we are saying now. We are looking to. So that God uh, uh, will not destiny to be a daughter. You go and be a pilot. So that God will not say you are an apostle. You will go and be, if, uh, 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 be sleeping in the farm. Praise the Lord. Number two. I said, what, what, what is number two? Uh, okay, brother James. 
Number two is praying for direction. Amen. God bless you. Number two is praying for what direction? Why is this part very important? For example, the reason why you set compass when you are going to a place you don't know is because you don't know the place. Is that not true? It's because you don't know the place. That is why you set compass going to that place. Now you are in the war. You are already here. And you don't know why you are here. What do you need to do? Is what? Pray for what? For the nation. How can you know the mind of God? Without prayer, it's not possible. The Bible told us where we read before. <clears throat> Uh, I mean, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. Uh, Amen. Amen. Let me call somebody. Okay, Brad, do me. I'm not going to. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, Amen. Ephesians two verse ten. For we, for we are His workmanship, cre created in Christ Jesus into good works, which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. We are His workmanship. They like carrying guests all about, uh, uh, and having boyfriend and girlfriend all about. They don't know the purpose of God. They don't know that they are workmanship of God. They don't know they are created in Christ unto good work. And for me, are you not there to know? We must pray for God's direction. For example, somebody hired you and said, come and be a house help. When you get there, you must ask questions. So, uh, thank you, uh, I'm here now. So, please, ma, please, sir, what do I need to be doing now? What do I need to do? do? Uh, maybe we tell you you are to be doing this or to be doing that. That question means another way, prayer. In uh, I am in Highland now. I, for that why? What is the purpose? Of, I am born in Ireland. There is purpose. Everyone, listen to this. You that is born in Germany, you are born in America, you are born in uh, UK. You are born in uh, Highland, uh, Sweden, wherever you are. There is a purpose why you are born there. And you must ask God. And it is through prayer for direction you need to know. He said in the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, Brother Samuel or Cesar, Read for us. Jeremiah 29, verse 7, verse 11. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Are we on there? No, sir. No, sir. Hey, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 29, verse 7. I read in verse 11. Oh, 11. Jeremiah 20, 29, verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. Give you thoughts. I read in Jesus' name. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace are not of evil to give you 
unexpected end. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I thought I have for you. Okay, listen to this. Let us be, be truthful here. We are the children of God. Brother uh, Dalian. Uh, Brother Dalian, I think uh, Pastor Mega song. Yeah. Do you know what God thinks towards you? Just like that. Huh? God. Yeah, do you know just naturally without this now? Maybe when you're born, do you actually really know the thought God has towards you? No. Amen. You see, you are, God bless you in Jesus' name. Yeah. Because we all are, we are like this. Let me put it this way now. That is where we need to pray. God, what is your thought towards me? God, what is your thought towards me? In this school, you allow me to be attending. Why do you, why is it that the, among the whole school in Ireland, this is the school you allow me to, start, uh, to be attending? There is a purpose. You must ask God. You must ask God, how many people do you say I must bring to you from this school? How many people do you say I must drag to your kiddo? That is it. You must pray for what direction? To know the purpose of God in your life. You must be a prayer warrior. Children, get this. You must not be a push and start children. The one that until your mother push you and beat you before you, you open your mouth and pray. You cannot know the thought of God concerning you that way. You must be a prayerful warrior to know what God is saying concerning you. Knowing your God will give you destiny or give you purpose in life, you must pray. You must not, I remember we talked about something before. You must not be a playing son, a playing daughter, but a praying, a praying what? Not a P-L, but P-R-O. You must not be a playing child, but a praying Child, to know the God giving purpose in your life. Do we understand? Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Sister Kyla, do you understand? Yes, sir. Amen. Yes. So, everyone, do we understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. In Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Yes. So, you must be a prayer warrior. Your mother must yes. not, your mother must not push you to touch. Yes. Your mother, your father, your parents must not push you and push you and push you before you pray because like that you will not know the purpose of God concerning you. Praise the Lord. Yeah. You must yeah. for you to know the purpose of God, you must support your parents in prayer. What do I mean? Because all parents here, all of them, they are praying for you. So you must support them by, by praying also for yourself. Do we hear that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And they are praying for you, also use your own mouth to pray. God. My mother is praying for me that you should let help me help me to know my purpose of Father. What is actually the purpose of me being in this place? You must also pray. Praise the Lord. And the Lord will help me and you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So number three, because of time. Number three. Following the will of God. Number three, following the will of God. 
For you to know the purpose of God concerning you, you must follow his way. For you to know the purpose of God concerning your life, you must what? Follow the will of God. The wind or will? Wind, wind, W-I-N-N. -N. Okay. It's L. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, Brother Joseph, please, what is number three? Because, yes, you said what? Okay, I will repeat it now. So let's uh, pay attention. If I'm too fast, please let me know. Yeah, not fast too much. Am I too fast, please? No, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. All right. No, sir. Number three, following or, yeah, following the will, the will of God. Following the will of God. If you want to know the purpose, God giving purpose concerning you, you must follow the will of God. And how do we do this? For example, right now, you know, everything about this world is 2-2. Two -two. At the sea day, they see what? Night. Night, right? Yes. yes. At the sea light, they see what? Darkness. 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 So, how will you not know the one to, uh, to attach your life to? The Bible tells us in the book of Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21. Proverbs 19, 21. Uh, okay, brother Prince, read for us. Proverbs chapter 19. The reason why you must pray to know the will of God. And remember, listen to this. Before our brother come up, you can never know the will of God if you don't do the, the second one that we just talked about now, which is what? Pray for God's direction. Because it is through praying for God's direction, you will know the will of God. So, brother Prince, are you there? Proverbs Prover 19. Proverbs 19, Proverbs 19, 21. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Proverbs 19, verse 21. There are many device, devices in man's heart. Never, mm -hmm. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord does not stand. Amen. You see, mm -hmm. there are many words, many thoughts we have in our mind. Many things we want to do. At the same time, uh, the, our parents have fed our cupboard with different kind of food. You open mm -hmm. the drawer now, there is bread. You open the drawer, there is chicken, there is a uh, 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 gari, there is uh, uh, groundnut. You cannot eat all of them together. You must know the one you are that is good for you to eat. You must know the one that is that your spirit, your body needs. He said, there are many devices in a man's heart. Every one of us, we have different thoughts. Many of us want to be a daughter. And that's a person who wants to be a daughter, want to be what? Want to be a, a, a pilot. Can you do the same at the same time? No. So in this area, what do we do? You have to pray. Father, yes, I have finished my, my, my secondary school now. Oh, I, I'm, I'm about to go into a uh, uh, into a secondary school, uh, 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 university. I have the qualification to become an engineer. I have the qualification to become a doctor. 
But Lord, I cannot do the two at the same time. Which one do you want me to do? Which one do you destine for me? Knowing you must follow what the will of God. And when God now bring his will, oh, maybe you love pilots. You read, you among that two pilot and a, a daughter, there is one you like more, more uh, most. Maybe you like daughter more than the pilot. And God said, My son, you cannot be a, a daughter. You have to be a pilot. And you cannot say, Hey, God, you know now I love daughter more than a pilot. And you don't let me be a daughter now. No. Following the will of what? Of, of God. God. You must follow the purpose. The purpose is that you should be this. That is what God is saying. The purpose is that, yeah, you should be this and be this. But what of, if you are not a prayer warrior, how will you know God's way? For you and I to know the will of God, you must what? Be a prayer for warrior. warrior. Because it is true there. Because prayer, prayer is not a the compass. It's com is the compass that will direct you to the way to know what God wants you to occupy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Do we understand? Yes, sir. The Bible tells me and you because of time. You can write it down. Matthew 6. Matthew 6. Uh, yeah. Matthew 6, 33. I read in Jesus' name. I read in Jesus. Praise the Lord. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Hold on. <laughs> okay, brother Divine. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Read Matthew out. 6 verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Amen. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. When you pray, it is finished. Huh? Huh? Amen. So when you pray, you will know whether it is wet, meaning riches, or heaven, you have to seek first. Seek if fair the kingdom of God. Many don't know their purpose. That is why they are dying going to hell. He said, the, he said of seeking the kingdom of God first, they went and seek and be seeking wealth, seeking riches, and they die in that place and die of a fee. Die without knowing the reason why God created them. And they all go out. They all to go to hell. The wind, when you pray, you will know that you are to seek the kingdom of God first, or you are to seek earth, earthly thing first, material thing first. Following the will of God. And to know the will of God, as I said, is to do what? You must pray. You must be what? A prayer warrior. Because of time, number four. The promises of God. Do we understand the one we just explained? First of all. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Following the will of God, do we understand it? Yes. 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 Amen. So number four, promises 
the promises of God. The promises of God. We just read in the book of Jeremiah 29 verse 11 that I know the thought I have for you. That is the promise of God. He it said, it said, and to bring it to what? To an expected end. Mm -hmm. That is God promise for you. He said, so that we don't rush to that place. I said that my will is not that, I, I mean, mm -hmm. it's not my will that anyone should perish. perish. Meaning, the promise of God is a eternal life. When you are when you pray, you have you will know the promises of God and you begin to claim them. For example, you will it, it, you the promises of God is that I put in this place. I and the mother and all the parents that the Lord give to me. We are made for what? For size and wonder. That is God's promise. The promise of God is, I shall not die. The promise of God concerning me and you is that he has anointed me. The promise of God concerning you. The Bible tells us in Romans, we have no time. We may stop sometimes so that we do the rest thing. Maybe next time we continue from there. Romans. I want to quickly read Romans chapter 8, verse 28. I no. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. It said, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his what? Purpose. You see, that is the God's promise. Everything, that is the promise of God, that everything works together for good for you. That is God's promise. When the devil is giving you plan B, you tell him, no, 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 no. This is what the Lord God Almighty told me that all this is going to work for my own good. That is God's purpose, that all things will work for your good. good. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is the promise of God. The last one, although this one have branches. So that we ask question. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because of time, I want to. Because of time, if God permit us, we we attach this to another topic. As God will help us, because I don't want us to stay more than the time. So therefore, I will stop in that verse four. Then we continue when God gives all the privilege to do, I mean, to come together again in Jesus' story because time is not on our side. Praise the Lord. I know clearly by the that number five will open more of our eyes about this topic. Uh, I don't want us to rush it. So that we can understand because we are like me and you we are what we are baby so we need to behave what talk to ourselves like what baby. like baby if i'm talking to only sister in the now uh -huh, we can 
talk and they can run with us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, do we understand the message today? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Um, Praise the Lord. Do we understand the uh, message? Well, yes, Is it clear? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. I hope yes, sir. if I ask you, sir. I hope if I ask questions, you'll be able to give me the clear, clear, clear message. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because of question. So, a case, maybe you raise up your hand. I did not call you. Please understand. I don't want us to stay modern so that the joy will be there. Amen. So, Brother Samuel. Yes, sir. And what to learn? And what's how the body message just God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, I'm the uh, God created us to be an ambassador um, and to represent Him as our Father. Amen. Praise the Brother Dalen, uh, Sweden. Brother Dalen, uh, Sweden, uh, Sister Esther Rejoice's daughter. Uh, song, sorry. Yes, sir. Yeah, what do you understand about today's message and what do you learn or what can you also teach us? That you must turn to the Bible. That is one of the, 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 the steps, right? Yes. Amen. What do you understand there? That, that your parents will not push you to pray. Amen. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Now, God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. So, Brother Divine. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you now. I want to ask you. It just says something now that your parents must not do what push you to pray. <clears throat> now I'm asking you, if you do not pray, what happens? Brother Ivan. If I did not pray, then then I will not know the promises of God Amen. in my life. God bless you. Very correct. He said, do we hear him? Yes, I hear myself. Do we hear what he said? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. He said, for those that do not hear, he said, if you do not pray, you will not know the promise. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In one's life. So that it will say, if you and I must know the purpose of God concerning ourselves, we must be a prayer person. I remember the other time we talked about the praying child. Mm -hmm. Yes. So a praying child always know the purpose of God, why they are the reason why they are created. So if you must know the reason why you are created, you must pray. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, Sister Elizabeth, do you understand? Yes, sir. What can you tell us? What do you understand? What do you embody today's message? That your, your parents should not force you to pray or to do anything about God. You should do it by yourself with um, happiness. Amen. God bless you. Do we hear her? Yes, sir. Yes. yes. I hope, yes, sir. I hope those of us that our parents have been pushing to, especially to pray, that will not happen again. It's not promised. God will help you in Jesus' name. Don't, don't say anything. Okay? Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'll take one more and take about two from the adult, and we'll go to Holy Communion. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. Brother, Hallelujah. If uh, brother Brother Joseph, your brother, not James, the other one. Benjamin. Benjamin. Amen. Brother, brother Benjamin, God bless you. Understand. Us, and now we show so that we can know what he sent to he brought us to the world to do. Amen. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. In Jesus' name. He said, Okay. Quickly, Sister Kayla. How do man how do one go and get the promises of God? When they don't read the Bible. We ask you a question. I will tell your mother to leave there now. No, I'm telling her that they are asking her a question. I, uh, no, I, I know she's I said she's looking at you. I will tell you not to leave there so that I will she will not see you to look there. When you don't read the Bible. Okay. <clears throat> but many people still read the Bible and go against the promises of God. When you disobey God. God bless you. When you disobey God, you go against the promises of God. Maybe, for example, God said you will be an apostle. You said, no, 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 no. I, uh, you want to be a pilot. For example, I know somebody can be an apostle and be a pilot. Understand? So when God said, this is what you must do, and you said, no, 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 this is, uh, maybe God said, go to America. You said, no, you want to go to UK. That is disobedient. And the promise of God can never come to pass in your life. So children, we must try our best not to disobey God so that his promises will come to us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. I want to quickly take uh, Sister Amanka, where is your mother with you there? Yes, my brother is here. I'm here. Your mother. Oh, my mother. Come here. You. Come. Yes, yeah, she's here. Yes, yeah, she's here. Quiet. She's coming. She's coming. God bless you, sister. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Please, do you, are you with us? But, uh, do you hear the message, ma? I was cooking downstairs, sir. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Sister. Yes. I only cause the people I'm seeing. Okay, Sister Ego. <laughs> Yes, sir. Sister Ego, please. What I don't know. What do you have for all? What do you understand? Or what? Yeah, praise Master Jesus Christ. Uh, God bless you, man of God. God increase your wisdom in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Yeah. Um. We are like we also we are children. We are learning to. I really thank God for for this message. You know, for the purpose in which we are created. First of all, you know, we have to know the purpose which you are created in order not to get against it. And I give God the glory because I learned too, following the will of God, which is very much important. And for us to know the purpose of God, we have to read the uh, Bible. Uh, if all of us, we have purpose in which we are created in this air. We are not just created like that. And I pray that Almighty God, with, uh, you know, to help us to fulfill that purpose. Not only hearing the word of God, but as we hear it, that he help us to be the doers and not the 
only the hearing because some of her and also the parents that God will help her parents in order not to push their their children and the all the this is another another thing it goes on what uh, by the special grace of God what happened in the night vigil you know you know for the when a God will be telling their parents a child you know a purpose which he created a child to do the parents will be pushing him to do other things you know all of us we have purpose which God created us in this world and if we if we uh, listen to normally God and by you know following the will of God following the direction uh, which is uh, all these the steps which a man of God gave to us. And, uh, you know, I will not miss that purpose. And I pray that God Almighty will help us and uh, give us the grace in order not to miss his purpose and read our Bible, you know, for us to, that was for us to know that purpose and to obey it, to do it in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you, man. Amen. Okay, I want to talk to one of our teachers, Sister Edith. God bless you, man. <clears throat> is it me, sir? Yes, ma'am. God bless you, sir. Praise the Lord. Oh, Hallelujah. Yeah. God bless you, Pastor, for the message. Beloved children of Almighty God, what I really understand is that the reason God creates us, God creates mm -hmm. us on this earth for us to be able to represent Him and for us to serve Him. And another thing, he said the purpose, the purpose God made us is for us to be able to worship him. And if we want to make it in life, if we want us to be able to succeed in everything, we must always look for the direction of Almighty God. We must always depend on him totally. Like the teacher said, that we should not allow our parents to push us every time to pray. Most of us that are aged enough, we must know that we must pray to God. It's the purpose God created us, to worship him, to serve him, to follow him. And another thing the teacher said that if we want to make it, if we disobey God, those promises will not come to us. We must try everything to obey our Lord Jesus Christ so that the purpose will be able to be fulfilled. Amen. God bless us all. Amen. Amen. God bless you, ma'am. God grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, uh, because of time, we we'll stop here. The other people, we we'll wait for the next time. Like as I said, the number five carry many branches, and even uh, the Lord sister just says something concerning that one. We open more of our eyes. And the Lord will help us if we give all the grace, if we tarry, we, we, we go about that. And at the end, our life will not remain the same in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. This is a mountain of solution and redemption prayer ministry worldwide, aka the shepherd and the Bishop of Our Souls Ministries Worldwide.